So your <laughs> next fight, we, we brought her name up. You know, it's kind of like a surprising fight because you got such a big record, you know, at this time. You're 14 and one, and they feed you on Bodog hook and shoot, kind of a, a mix. At this point, I think Miguel is out of the picture from Bodog. Yeah. And it's uh, Cody Welchin, and she's two and one, but she's fighting out of uh, Greg Nelson, Jim, I believe. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, who were you training at? What's the date of that fight? It is November, November 24th, 2007. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I. I just I just changed gyms. Um, Adrian was killed August twenty third, two thousand seven, and I had been training down in Florida at American Top Team because some shit went down in Washington, and Adrian and I, and I decided that it wasn't safe for me to stay up there, and my family had a condo down there near very like. 10 miles away from ATT. So we decided that until he got back from Iraq, uh, I'd go, I'd go stay in the condo. I'd train at ATT. It'd be great. You know, fucking ATT. Hell, hell yeah. Why not? Can't pass on that um, for sure. Yeah. So then he was killed and, um, I lost it. Like just lost it. Uh, I, I, couldn't I went back to Florida for like two days it was not working out so I went home and hung out with my folks and I had fought on a few shows with Eddie so I knew Philadelphia Fight Factory I knew some of the guys up there and I contacted them and said hey uh I'm I'm back in the area I'm living with my folks Eddie 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 was Eddie was one of the first people that talked to me after I found out he was one of the first people that got to me I, I was I was at one of the shows I was at the show where I was doing commentary for Bodog in Vancouver and I found out right before the show and and him and Chael Eddie took me out of there and took me out back behind the building and talked to me and it was super super fucking cool and Chael, Chael was fucking awesome too. Um, and so that's how I, I kind of like, I, I knew them from fighting on from Bodog and down in Costa Rica and shit like that and whatever. So I called up, uh, I guess I, I either got in touch with Eddie or Steve Hag or whoever. And I was like, yo, I'm living down in South Jersey. I'm 45 minutes from Philly. I need a place to train. They're all about it. So come on in. And, um, I remember my first Saturday coming in there with the guys. I think I was there like two days. And then the first Saturday was sparring. So I came in there <laughs> and they jumped me into Philly. <laughs> That's good. That's how it's supposed to be. I mean, dirty. I, I Philly's dirty. Christ, they fucking jumped me in. Like, <laughs> oh, that's an initiation. Absolutely. That means awesome. they care. That means they care awesome. about you. Yeah. Hell that means yeah. they care about you. Like, yeah. I was like, this is the place for me. I like this gym. And I did. I really did. I think I was there for shit. How long was I there for? Five years? I don't remember. Yeah. You know, the, but- th- the thing about Eddie Alvarez is he's got this incredible ability. And I-, I wish I had it. Where the minute you meet him, you perceive him as a friend. And you you just like, wow, yeah. this yeah. is a guy that's a friend. He's a good dude. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, he, and it's like, it's not like it's phony. It's not, it's an act. He's legitimately a decent human being. I've only met the guy twice, and both times I was incredibly impressed with him. Yeah, he's very cool. Yep. I remember he, he came up to me after, you know, obviously he won, and, you know, he's in victory mode, and everybody's there, and he comes up and he goes, man, I'm, I'm really sorry you had to throw my dad out of the audience. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, yeah, he was always a real person. How do you get on her radar? Is it because at this time you're at the top? I was tired of the fucking Is this her trying to is is this her trying to chase a fight with you? Is that her her way of doing it? I don't I don't know. I have no idea. 
No, I know what it was. It was in response to me saying that people that had to uh, use their looks and their sexuality uh, were lacking talent. I think that was her response to that. That's what that was. Because I've always had that stance. I've always said that. Since Shelby, that's where I developed it. That's where I got it. I had nothing to do with fucking Gina. I didn't care. Yeah, she was hot. She had great tits. Cool. Whatever. But, like, Shelby was the epitome of using her sexuality and her looks to fucking get somewhere, and she didn't have the talent to back it up. That's where I got that from. And I still, to this day, say it. There's chicks. There's fucking chicks in the UFC. Well, maybe not as much now. But when no, they first... No, got the- no. They're there now. Okay. Yes. Yeah, They're there now. Yes. Yes. If, if I may, if I may make a recommendation to anybody that's in the women's mixed martial arts is obviously, you know, all of us here are listen to Dominic Cruz do play by play during like a Jessica I fight. It is, it is, it, it's, it's brutal. It's like, you'll say, well, you 